How's it going, YouTube? This is Skull. Welcome to my video game pickups for the month of March 2020. You notice that I'm not in front of my blue screen today, and that's because I got this this month. This is a 32-inch CRT TV, and I got it for only 5 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, and it is heavy. It weighs more than my R2 droid. It weighs more than I do. It is incredibly heavy. But, oh man, this is this is the first old-school CRT TV that I've owned in a very long time. And I apologize for the glare on the lights. I just I can't get rid of that, no matter how much I try. But I, I'm sure you can see it's playing Battletoads perfectly fine. And it looks really good. This is an NES plugged into it with just the regular uh, yellow, white, and red um, video cables. And it looks so good. Way better than it would ever look on a flat-screen TV like what we have these days. Now, the reason I got this is twofold. One, I wanted an older TV anyway for a while now so that I could play these older consoles um, that can only output that kind of video and no more, no better. And, uh, yeah, um, so this is a really good one. It was advertised as a 27-inch uh, TV, but it's measured. they measured it 27 inches from left to right. You measure TVs diagonal from top left to bottom right. So it's actually a 32-inch CRT, uh, and the best part is this actually has S-Video in. Most of you probably don't know what that means, but basically it's an incredibly um, rare video input that some consoles can do that's been obsolete for years. Uh, so the fact that this has it is really good, but also I eventually want to make a custom arcade cabinet, and this is the TV that I will be putting inside of that. Should be pretty exciting when that happens. It's a long-term project. For now, I'm very happy to just have it on this end of the room. Uh, you probably can see behind me is where all my Pokemon plushes are. I have my NES and N64 hooked up to it right now. Anyway, enough about that. You wanted to see what actual games I got this month, don't you? Well, uh, I didn't get that many games. <laughs> I mean, for the first time ever, I actually fulfilled my promise of not getting that many games. I ended up with only four new games, this TV, and this. This is a Nintendo DS launch model from Japan. I believe this is the uh, silver version. Uh, this is the one, this is the original DS that came out. Uh, I ended up placing a joke bid on eBay for this of five bucks. It came from Japan, it perfectly works absolutely fine, as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, anyway, I ended up losing that auction, but I guess whoever won it didn't pay, because about a week later I got an email saying, hey, this item is back up, start bidding on it, bidding only lasts for an hour. So I did my joke bid of five bucks again, and I actually won it. And it arrived about three months later, here it is. And now I have another model of the DS that I did not have before. So, very happy to have this. Like I said, only cost five bucks. I'm able to play Game Boy games on here. And DS's are not region locked. So that means even though this is Japanese DS, I can play American games on it perfectly fine. Very happy to have it. Incredibly dirty. Um, a lot of marks on it, but it works. That's what's important to me. And now on to the four games that I got this month. They're all Switch games. <laughs> so, first up we have Farms, Farm Expert 2019 for Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this because it was like a flash sale on Amazon for five bucks, if I remember right. Might have been Best Buy. Actually, it was Best Buy. Yeah, it was a flash sale from Best Buy for like five bucks. It was a game I was missing, so for five bucks, figured why not. Uh, the only brand new game I got this month, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe. I did not get Animal Crossing. Sorry, guys. I just... It's not a priority for me. This, though, I was very happy to get pick up. I'm really enjoying the game so far. Uh, if you watch me playing through it on my channel on launch day, then you'll know I'm only about maybe five or six hours deep into the game right now. I still have a long way to go. And I've been meaning to uh, play it a bit more, but I just uh, I haven't found the time or the motivation. I guess whenever I sit down to play something on stream, I'd rather do something else like Splatoon 2 rank or uh, Pokemon Shiny Hunting. Um, but I will eventually finish this game. I'm loving it. This is the first Mystery Dungeon I've ever played, and I don't mean the original was the first I ever played. I mean this right here, what you see right here, is the very first Mystery Dungeon I've ever played. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, let's see. 
Also got two limited print games here. Uh, this one, actually I don't know what this constitutes as. This is a game called Hover from PM Studios. Now it's not limited print. It, it, it is open for order whenever you want. There's not a limited quantity and, and it'll never shut down, at least not for a while. Like, there's no set deadline about when you can order this, but it is only exclusive to their website. Again, PM Studios. Um... I, I haven't played it. I really don't know much about it. I just remember seeing it pop up. This was back when I was trying to get all the Switch games, by the way. So I ordered this maybe over a year ago by now. Um, yeah, so this is... I'm, I'm going to put this in my distributed games area of my, uh, of my shelves. Because it's not a retail game, but it's not a limited print game. It's like... It was only released on one website, but you can still go and get it whenever you want, I guess? So, uh, Switch collecting is becoming a big hassle. Um, but my final game that I got, this one's actually pretty fun. Vasara Collection from Strictly Limited. This was actually their fifth release on the Switch, but I've actually gotten quite a few games si since then from them that are a lot farther along in the numbering system. I guess they had some trouble getting the uh, the, the code for Vizara, um, or or making sure that all the patches were on the cartridge or something like that, uh, because they ended up only shipping it out very, very recently, and I ended up getting my copy, like I said, uh, and as with all Strictly Limited games, um, every single individual game is numbered. So out of 1,500 non-collector's edition copies of this game, I got number 1116, which it's not a low number, but it's a pretty cool number. You know, three ones in a row. So yeah, those were the four games I ended up getting. Visara, Hover, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Farm Expert 2019, my beautiful Nintendo DS. The only kind of D the only two kinds of DS I'm missing now are DSI and DSI XL. I have every other kind of DS, which is awesome. And of course my brand new CRT. So that does it for this video. Um, I really don't know if I'm even going to do this again next month. It depends on how many people like this video or, or watch it at all. Depends on uh, what I end up picking up next month. About the only thing I can say for sure I'm getting is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, we'll have to see what happens. But in the meantime, thanks everyone for watching. I love this TV. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!